I want to meet you with this slow man. It's slow man. Stop it. Oh, uh, is it? Yes. Well, who sings that song then? Since you know it so well. I thought it was slow hand. Let's see. It's I a got, woman I gotta singing. Look, I got to look it up. Uh, <laughs> Sage Francis? Uh, no, I don't know. Is that it's it? It's a 70s song, right? We'll look it up before this thing's over. But slow hand, S L O W H A N D is pointer. your Wednesday it's morning. Pointer, word. pointer sisters. It's the pointer sisters, and it's slow man, not slow hand. Slow. Oh, it is slow hand. I thought so. Wait. That's right, sir. You can just sit up and you can take your medicine because it's slow hand. My mom used to listen to that crap, and I've heard it so many times. I thought it was slow hand. Okay. But a lot of times, lyrics do sound different. As we, you know, as you know, kiss the sky, kiss the sky, kiss the sky. I mean, all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, anyways, how you doing today? You doing good? Paul Simon did a song called "Slowman." Slowman, Slowman, slow man. But Sam Slowman is the kicker for the uh, for the Los Angeles Rams, right? Sure. I'm trying to. Def- I don't know what a slow hand is. I want to define it. What is slow hand? So. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, oh, it was. Uh, oh, you know, you know. <laughs> I know it's a reference to Eric Clapton, right? Uh, yeah. No, yes, yeah. uh, yes, yes, yes. I yes. know why we're doing it. I mean, <laughs> that's why I. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give you every reason to remember it. Uh, Eric Clapton's nickname. Uh, what is Eric? Cl- it's slow hand. And why do they call it Eric Clapton? What if slow I hand? opened up a? High end men's clothier. Oh, it's for in, slow clapping. In San Luis Obispo, and I called it Sloman, and I made um, Sam Sloman the the spokesperson for Slow Man. I would call it Slow Man. Yeah, and then it would be a men's apparel store. Yeah, that's right. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But Sam Sloman, and I would I wouldn't charge people so much money like the other men's stores do downtown. Well, then you would probably not stay in business. Because really? Rents, you don't think I would get more the, business? The rent's downtown. The rent are, is too damn high. It's, it's too damn high. You gotta pay that rent. Slow man. <laughs> now we're being very confusing, all right? The code word is slow hand. Yes. Eric Clapton's nickname, it was given to him by oh, Giorgio Gomeski, 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 I don't know how you say his last name, uh, the manager of the Yardbirds back in the day, all right? And apparently his nickname came from Giorgio, a pun on the slow hand clapping that ensued when Clapton stopped playing while he uh, replaced a string on his guitar. This happened back in 1964. Don't Co- try to get on the same page as me, dude. Can we do our, each other's no, thing? No, because you've got to be on the same page. No, That's what clapping is. Quit looking at me, dude. <laughs> well, if I don't look at you, I can't do it. Look at her, I gotcha. Oh, uh, both theaters in the U.S. and the U.K., uh, especially Regal Cinemas, uh, are going to be shutting back down. You know, I, I, I'm afraid that the, the theater business is, is one of the past. I, I almost think it's going to have to be like a novelty thing because it, would you rather go to a theater or watch a movie at the house? Even with young kids, maybe, I don't know, maybe that's a real treat to take them I, to a it theater. Is, it is a real treat. But and, as you know, an adult, I, I don't I care to you, go anymore. I will tell you without, you know, when I, didn't have kids. I, I didn't care if I went to the movie theater to watch a movie. Uh, it was fun every once in a while. Uh, but with the kids, they really look forward to it, and they're really bummed out. And I know that festival uh, has opened up um, on a limited basis uh, in Arroyo Grande because I see the cars out in front there. So I know that they're open, but they're playing older movies. But still, just to go and have the experience. Festival. Yeah. Is that what it's called? What is, what are you is, talking about the one on Grand Avenue? I'm talking the one right across the hi- highway from you. Oh, those are the Regal Cinemas. The re- cinemas. The Regal Cinema. <laughs> I don't know. Suffering. I'm drinking tea today. Suffering. Suffering. I'm drinking some green tea because it's supposed to be good for you, and I think it's it's done something to my, my speech. Uh, the Regal Cinemas. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it is called something is else. It called, I just is call it, it Regal. Regal. I just call it Regal Cinemas. Oh, okay. Maybe it's so, Regal. I don't know. And I, I don't go to that it one says anymore. It Festival cinemas, cinemas on the on the, on the the sign. Oh, see, I don't even look for signs. I just call it Regal. You call it what you want to call it? I call it what it is. It's Regal Cinemas. Is it? Yeah. 
Why is it called Festival Cinemas? I don't know. Maybe that's new. I, maybe it's not. I don't know. I just have always referred to oh, it as Regal. Oh, it's called Regal Royal Grande, according yeah. to Google. Yeah, settle down. But it says Festival Cinemas on the on the sign outside. I, now I'm a real snob when it comes to going to the movie anyways. I only like to go to the ones that have the really cool reclining seats. So the one downtown slow, and uh, I don't even, yeah, and that's, that's enough. Do they have the reclining seats? Yeah. Okay, because I went into a theater there, and I didn't get to sit and recline. Depends seat. on where you go. Must have been the theater. But then they that also I was have in. the shock seats and all that stuff. I was talking to uh, uh, one of the guys up there the other day. They have that, you know, that popcorn and the uh, and the gift card deal. And they said that um, they're they're bummed out because they thought they were going to get uh, James Bond right around Thanksgiving time, and as a new release, now they're talking about pushing James Bond back um, because of the concerns people have of going to the movie theaters tough tough time for that business um i know there's a number of those if you want to support those businesses uh there's a number of them i know that the paso robles one is doing the popcorn thing that the atascadero one is doing the popcorn thing whether you buy the popcorn you get a gift card the popcorn's always the best at the movie theaters except for the one i like to go to it's the worst popcorn i've ever had at a Where, theater why do you i don't want to call it out but um uh, you kind of just did. I kind of just said about that. <laughs> I mean, here's the deal. Oh, I love right. that theater, right. and I love the seats, and I love Absolutely everything right. about it. They even have Coke Zero, which is awesome, because that's my favorite I don't know drink. what it is about the... But um, their popcorn is just not up to par, man. I don't know what it is about Galaxy, but my whole family... You get the large one, and you get a refill. They have good popcorn at no, Galaxy. I know. You get the large that's what one. you're looking for. You get the large one, and your whole family, and then you get a free refill. If you can get through it. We get through it. Like in no time, <laughs> fighting. The four of us are fighting over the popcorn. I mean, they it's give insane. You the, did you ever ask for the boxes that they'll put nachos and stuff in, so you can like yes. fill the popcorn holders? Yes. Yeah, then you can just share it that way. I'm like, I'm like and they're hey, cool about that, I'm right? Do, I'm doling it out. I'm, I'm the popcorn keeper. I right. get the I get the bucket. What, y'all get the. Box. What other business would be cool with that? Like, if you went to McDonald's and you said, "Hey, I'm gonna get if it's all you can eat large fries," but then you're like, "Hey, can I get some extra containers?" They would be like, "No, you can't share that. You can't go to a buffet and share your all you can eat buffet." But at a popcorn place you get the all you can eat and they're cool with it and i oh my god you are making me crave that popcorn that right now by popcorn. just talking about it so good. it's just i don't know what it is about that popcorn. i don't know what kind of oils they're using i wish they would share the do you recipe. put the do you put the buttery on it the fake butter um yes because I like my a little bit of that son likes it yeah you gotta have a little he of that. likes to get it when it, it's like he's like oh yeah that's a good piece. when it's soggy yeah. it's like you bite into it and it just squishes oil out. i could do without but he he finds it a big treat but yeah, it's kind of a bummer that these businesses, and I know that production times are going to be lagging now, which is not going to help out the theater um, business. Uh, hopefully, Los Angeles, I don't know if you saw the story yesterday. Netflix had a very popular uh, series called Glow, and it was about, you remember Gl- Glorious Ladies of Wrestling? Okay, a little bit, yep. In the, in the 80s and the 90s? Um, well, they were, they were doing a series about Glow, and, and it was a scripted, you know, not documentary, but it was just a scripted show about Glow and what it was. While well, they just came down with the word that they're going to not air the uh, fourth season, which they were going to go ahead and push forward with because they can't film wrestling scenes under COVID restrictions. And by the time it would be done with production, it would be 2022, and it would have taken two and a half years off from the last time the last season came off. So they're they're done with it. I got you. Anyways, um, this the, the final straw in the camel was that what, what is that nope. saying? Nope. The final, final dagger. Straw? Final, final nail in the coffin. Final the nail in the coffin. Yeah, yeah. let's go with that one. It's the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. Yeah, but, but nail in the coffin was the James Bond yeah. film. Uh, no time to die. Who's by the way playing that Bond member? Do you know? I, I think it's Daniel Craig again. Oh, good. He's good. Anyways, uh, that that was pushed back. Um, to April now. It was supposed to be released in November. But, you know, because where we're at, you know, I mean, that's a huge money movie. So April. April. Not till April you're going to get to see the next James Bond film. So uh, and, go get some gift cards. Get my popcorn fill. <laughs> All right, so the debate is tonight. It's the vice presidential debate. Uh, you know, yesterday we were telling you that they are taking extra precautions, uh, probably because the, the president came down with the COVID. So instead of being six feet apart, they will be 12 feet apart. 
and they will have plexiglass. Now, I don't know if that means they'll have plexiglass around each person or if they're just going to have a big plexiglass wall. But we got a guy on the phone that thinks he's got the uh, solution to the problem. Go ahead. Hey, uh, remember, get smart, code of silence. Get smart, code of silence. What do you mean? You don't remember the show? Oh, you're you're young. I'm sorry. Yeah, they they had this they had this cone that would come down and cover cover the two people so they could have a discussion in private. Oh, the cone of silence. The, the uh, remember that? No, no, but I, I, I if I would have heard cone instead of code, I wouldn't have been. Confused. Oh, sorry. It's sorry. okay. It's yeah. okay. It's just phone. It's the way it is. Um, I, yeah. I, I'm in the middle of the dump, so go ahead. Uh, no, look it up. Uh, Google it. Get <laughs> smart. The cone, cone of silence, and you'll see what I mean. Okay. And it's a perfect set. Well, that, that'll, that'll. What? Do they each get their own cone over oh. the, each one of them? Do they each get their own cone? Oh. See, he got the cone of silence placed on his head, and he could not hear us anymore. That's how it works. That's the strategy for tonight's debate. Is this where we're at now? This is the strategy in this in, in, to decide our president. And uh, the, moving forward, uh, uh, something from Get Smart. Yes, it's a, it's basically a hamster tube um, that you would place over two heads, and then the um, it's a really bad idea during coronavirus because you're trapped. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the tube going from one person to the next? Oh yeah, that's bad. around their head. So yeah. just the germs. Yeah. Now, yeah. given the fact, I don't that, think this is going to flood. That Mike Pence has been in contact with the president. I don't think Kamala Harris would sign up for the mm-hmm. cone of silence. And I think he was talking more about when Biden and Trump do their next debate. I believe next week. Yes. Um, cone of silence. Cone of good. silence. That would be nice. <laughs> Let him scream it out inside that cone. And do you think, call do you think Biden day. would show up to the debate if he had to wear a cone? Uh, no. And have Donald Trump on the other end of it? No. <laughs> Yeah. And would the good strategy on the cone of silence debate be to eat the grossest thing before you go to the debate? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Much garlic, bring it on. I could just see. I could just see. Bring it on, garlic and rock star. Just Biden bring me bro- garlic and rock and star. star. Biden throwing his hands up, shaking his head, looking at the moderators. I can't with this clown. <laughs> I can't with this. He had garlic <laughs> and rock star. Oh my god! <laughs> well, who gave him rock star? <laughs> <laughs>